Um, here the question is, consider the following sequence of numbers. You have six numbers here and use bubble sort to arrange the sequence in ascending order, right? Give the sequence at the end of each of the first five passes. Very simple. At the end of first pass, what happens in bubble sort? The largest number should go to the rightmost place, right? So let, let's actually not just that. So let's also work this out, right? So 92 would get swapped with 37, right? So 37 will become the first element. 92 would be here. 92 would again get swapped with 52, right? So you would have 52 here. 92 is the largest element. So you'll have 12, 11, 25 and 92. This is this is what you'll have at the end of first pass. What happens at the end of second pass? So 92 is already here. We won't touch this. Again, we'll swap, we'll not swap this because 52 is larger, right? So this we will swap. 52 is the second largest. Again, swap. 52 was here, 12 was here. So 37, 12, 11, 25. 52 and 92 at the end of second swap at the end of third swap again 37 would move here 37 would also move to the right 37 would also move to the right so you're left with 12 11 25 37 52 and 92 what about the fourth swap 12 would get jumbled here right you'll have 11 here and 12 here but 12 will not get swapped with 25 because 25 is larger, right? So you're left with 25, 37, 52 and 92. What about the fifth swap, right? So 25 is already sorted enough, right? So these at the end of fourth iterations, four swaps have been made. At the end of fifth iteration, there is nothing to swap now because 11 won't get swapped with 12, right? And you're done. Right. So that's all you're left with. So this is how the array will look like at the end of each of the swaps. Very straightforward question. Very straightforward stuff. Of course, you have to understand how bubble sort works and you should be able to run bubble sort and each of the passes of bubble sort without writing code or looking at code. That's all there is to this.